Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday, Monday. Yes, it is Money Monday. On my video today, we're going to talk about money. But I'm going to do it in such a way that uh, you can see what is want and what is need. But before I get started in the video, let me go ahead and do this. And that is, this video is not intended for children. However, there's nothing on this video that would be offensive to children or an adult. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now. Anyway, we're talking about wants and needs, but what if someone gave you $1 million? Would you know how to spend $1 million based on your needs and your wants? Do you think that you would manage that amount of money and will, will and, or within six months you will be only one thousand dollars rich in other words in less than six months you will have one thousand dollars in your banking account some people think that if you receive one million dollars, then you're, that's the end of your problem. I'm here to tell you that's not the end of your problem. That is the beginning of your problems. Why would I say such a thing? Well, remember, this video is about money. It's about the, the way you spend money. Now, let's take a serious look. And when I say serious, I mean serious on how you spend the money you now have, let's say, that $1 million. Let's start with the needs. And then we'll go to the wants. Your needs. The reason we're starting with needs is because most of us do not know the difference between wants and needs. The reason I'm taking the time to go over this is because I want you to hold on to the money you have and the money you wish you had. Okay, here we go. Needs are something that you must have in order to live. Needs are something that you must have in order to live. Your needs. The word necessity will help you understanding, help your understanding of the word need. Why do I say that? Well, needs are necessity. Let's look at the basic as survival needs, social, cultural, and intellectual needs. But I'm going a little bit further, which is no surprise to anybody watch my channel. Let's look at the financial needs. We need money for food, shelter, clothing, and water. Number one food. Number two, shelter. Number three, wa water. water. Number four, clothing. Not necessarily in that order. I'm just saying. Now, let's spend some time on wants. Let's look at wants. The reason I'm doing this is because you, if, if, if you ask the average person what are their wants and what are their needs they will use these two words as if they were synonymous they are not in other words most people will tell you they wants before you they will tell you their wants before they tell you their needs now let's look at some 
of your wants. People will go to the beauty shop. They get it nails done, manicured. They got to have this, that, and the other. They want expensive clothes, shoes, and things. Well, you have to ask yourself, if you did not have these things, I'm talking about cell phone. Now, most cell phone today, we're, we're into the uh, technology. Electronics is, is the basis. So, you know. If you ask a 10-year-old child that they need a, a, a cell phone, the answer is going to be yes. But we have to grow to learn that needs are not what will keep us. If you, have, if you were out in the desert somewhere and you, you had just your cell phone, all of the hair do's and manicure and all the fancy clothes and stuff. what good would that do if you didn't have food water water shelter think about it finding a new car is a want now you may say well i need a car yes a lot of people do that is a part of transportation in this society i'm aware of that but could you survive, and I know a lot of people are going to say I can't, but could you survive if you didn't have a vehicle? Would your life end? And for some people, that's the answer is yes. But thinking logically, would your life end if you did not have this, that, or the other? Now, there are, for me, that's a uh, Three things that have in the last three and a half years have gotten me to look at what is a need and what is what is my what are my needs and what are my wants. You know what one is? The price book. The price book has allowed me to stabilize my ability when I go out and buy uh, I have to think to myself do you really need that or do you really want that number two it allowed me to examine what are my needs and what are my wants I'm human I still buy but when I can't catch myself buying a new blouse, a new shirt, a sweater, shoes, whatever. I know that out of the door, something got to go because I have now selected this one item over the other. So needs and want, that's what we're talking about. Knowing what, number three, knowing the difference between my needs and my wants have allowed me to be able to continue my uh, challenges, my financial challenges, and to try and to be successful at it. Because now my awareness is way up there to the point that says want versus need. Are you buying because you see it? Or are you buying because you need it? Or are you buying because you want it? Or are you buying because you need it? Or are you buying because you are depressed that day and you just need to go shopping? Why are you selecting that particular item? It's a question you have to ask. I'm human. I have to ask myself, I've gone into stores and I need eggs, milk, uh, butter, whatever, and got that because I figured, oh my God, I really, you know, I'm very fortunate. I say to myself, I'm very fortunate that to, I don't really need anything. So I have taken these three and a half years and really began to develop myself and I'm, all I'm doing right here is to 
give you what I have. And my, what I want you to do is come in. What are your needs? Do you, what are your wants? Comment in the below. Thank you for watching. Be kind to yourself and others and have a fantastic day. Love you. Bye now.